All right, Katie, are you ready for some registration? I am. Awesome. I can't wait. Okay, so I'm going to share my my page really quick. Um, we do the very best that we can to make registration as simple as possible, but it can still be a little bit daunting. So we are just going to walk you through that. Registration is when you um, choose your drop-off time, you pay your consigner fee if it's applicable, and you choose when your pickup time and get all of your information in the system so that your tags will ring up at our sale. So let me share our my page. All right. And I'm going to head over to the registration. Okay. So can you see my cursor, Katie? I can. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's our registration page. Drop off for consigners is the 14th and the 15th of October. And um, I'm just going to walk through this with you, really. We're going to keep it nice and simple. One thing I will say is um, a lot of the questions that people have about registration can usually be solved by just slowing down a little bit when you register and reading the information. So it might seem like a lot, but everything in here is important and helpful information for consigners. Um, so this gives you a brief description. You're going to be able to, like I said, pick your drop off and pick up appointments, complete your consigner waiver, pay your consigner fee if you, you owe one and grab your shopping passes. So that's all going to happen in this one place. The only only other place you need to go before you're able to register is to either choose our event in in the tagging site. So right here, have you added the Bremerton sale to my events on the tagging site? If not, you're going to follow this link. And the second is if you don't have a consigner number yet. So if you've never consigned with a Just Between Friends sale anywhere in the country, you're going to need a consigner number. And that's also at the tagging site, but it's a different spot. So you're going to follow these links and you are going to get your um, consigner number if you don't have one. And you're going to choose our event to sell at if you haven't done that already. And if you don't know whether or not you've done that, um, I'm going to walk you through that after we get to the bottom. Okay. So, um, that's the first step. Are you ready to consign? The good news is because we're a franchise, once you consign at any JBF location, you can consign at ours. You don't have to get a different consigner number. So next, first thing is kind of the most exciting. So you're going to slide down to the passes and you're going to get your consigner pass. So first day here is for pre-sale day on Wednesday. And you're going to click that little plus, and then there's two options. There's the donate all consigner pass, or there's the consigner pass. So if you are reducing and donating all of the items you are selling at the sale, you are a donate all consigner. So you are going to select your pass right here. If not, you're going to select a regular consigner pass. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing for half price early entry, which is on Friday, Friday evening. And again, one for donate all consigners, one for regular consigners. Even if you think you might not use those consigner passes, just grab them just in case because they are free and it's, it's, it's not going to take them away from anyone else to grab them, but just in case you change your mind, you will have them already. The other reason it's nice to grab them is that they also include a guest pass or in the case of the half price sale, there's two guest passes. So on Wednesday pre-sale day, your ticket will scan two times, once for you and once for one other guest. And then on half price day, your ticket will scan three times. So again, once for you and uh, two times for two guests. So it's good to have them. It's good to grab them. Like I said, it doesn't cost anything. 
Um, consigner information is next. That's pretty self-explanatory. And this is a good spot to just stop for a minute and read through the consigner agreement. So like I said, a lot of the questions that our consigners bring up or have during the course of the sale are all answered in this consigner agreement. So just pause here for a quick minute or two, read through this information, and then you'll agree to the terms. And um, next thing on here is to pay your consigner fee. So if you are reducing and donating all of your items, you do not pay a consigner fee. That's a big thank you for us because all the items that you donate that don't get sold during the sale go to our charity partners. And um, it's a wonderful blessing for the community. And we really just want to say thank you. So we're going to waive your consigner fee. Um, if you choose to take your unsold items home, which is fine as well, there is a consigner fee of $15 right now, but that is only until August 31st. So we just have just over a week, like a week and a half left and then early bird pricing ends and the price goes up to $20 September 1st. So if you're going to consign with us and you know you're going to consign, hop on and get registered before August 31st so you can save that extra 25%. And um, little fun fact, only about half of the consigners that we are expecting to sell at our sale are registered at this point. So that means half of you haven't gotten the early bird discount yet. So hop on, do that so you can save those few extra dollars because every dollar counts right now, Katie, right? Absolutely. Um, okay, so next is going to be drop off. Okay, so you're going to come down here. If you're a regular consigner, you can use our regular drop off times, which just means you're going to bring your stuff into the building and you're going to drop it off yourself. So there's a drop down menu here. You pick your drop off time. Now, uh, something that is um, a wonderful service we like to provide for our donate all consigners is express drop off. So if you choose to, you can select express drop off if you're a donate all consigner. So those times are down here. Um, our drop off times are on Tuesday, Tuesday only. And then you're going to select how many items you're dropping off. There is a fee for the service, but the awesome thing is you can just pull up to the door and drop your stuff off and then go and we will put it out for you. Um, so that's available if it's something you desire to do. Um, and then this talks through what the tags look like, talking about donation. Again, just take a quick minute to read through these things. Um, you're going to choose a pickup time. I'm going to scroll back up here. We're not donating all. So then here are the options for pickup times. Okay. So choose when you want to pick up your unsold items, if you should have any, hopefully you don't have any at all. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then consigner payout. So this is where you're going to let us know whether you would like to have an e-check, which is sent through email. You print it yourself and then either take it into your bank or you can use mobile deposit, which mobile deposit tends to work a little better for this, but either one is fine. And um, if a small note here is that if you're a Navy federal customer, we really highly recommend that you use a physical check sent via UPS right here um, because Navy Federal has stated that they don't accept e-checks. Um, a few of you had ha have had a little bit of success with this, but for the most part, people are not really able to deposit an e-check through Navy Federal. So we, we recommend that you get your check sent through the mail. Um, and then there's a note here about using a tagging gun. So if you're going to be using a tagging gun, again, stop yourself here, read through all that. And then down at the bottom is the billing section. And then you hit submit. So after that, you'll get an email from us confirming that you're registered. It will tell you the drop off and pick up times you pick you chose. And it will also have your consigner passes in it. So those are the big hot items, things to remember when you're registering. If you have any trouble at all, just reach out to Katie and I. We're happy, or even the moderators, Dania and Jody on the Facebook page are so helpful. So just reach out if you have any troubles with that at all.